What's up guys? Welcome back to JK Fishing. We are out here looking for a shark. Got some nice big bonita chunks, bonita heads, which we caught in the previous video. I'll have that link from White Eye Above offshore on the boat. We got them tied to a breakaway rig. We're out here looking for some summer giants off the beach here. Hopefully we can get onto one once the sun goes down. Anyways, stay tuned guys. Well, we got a shark on. Something's taking the bait. Still what? That rod's tight. Am I on the mono? No, I just can't reel. Yeah, not a lot of fight. It's not peeling out too much, right? It's on. Sorry, I'm, it's bright in your face? It's close. It's close. It be a little tippier. Get a small bait on, right? Do you want me to get the, the rope? What do you think it is? Gonna be? Uh, he's not fighting at all. We don't really have a, uh, we're kind of basic here, we don't have a uh, pit mount, so we just go on our knees and fight it in the rod holder and it acts as like a, axe. I think it's a shirt, Joe. The sublime shirt. Just keep an eye on that other rod there. This thing's even close. This thing's really close. See if you can see him over there. Whatever it is, yeah. Let's just get it in close. It's better than the black that you've been touching. So. so just repeat what you were saying because I wasn't recording about the line pickup. Just go. You got lots of time. Yeah. So like I was saying earlier before, he said he for was he forgot he was recording. Uh, he's finally starting to fight. Now that's A, because most of the lines out of the water, there's a lot of tension on the line. It's pretty close in. Um, two, um, I don't think he really knew his hook. Good. This is by far the toughest part of the fight. Fishing a pretty loose drag. Like you can just pull like that. Most of the load is taken by the rod. As you can see, this is like a 80 to 100 pound, 120 pound rated rod. And it just, it's meat stick. Let's just zoom in on that nice shirt you got on there today, Joe. This thing's in smoke. Go see if you can see it in the water. All right. Look out. You recording? Oh yeah. Alright, he's going back to the water. That's a big ass shark. Look at that. Nice release. Hey guys, beautiful release. And I'll tell you why it swam back so easily. Turn your headlamp off. Good? Yep. So it swam back so easily because we were fighting it for what, 20 minutes? It. So you need heavy gear. As you can tell, like it's a nine knot senator. It's even underkill, 100 pound line. But we got it in quick. Now nurses are known for not fighting very much. I thought it was a lemon maybe. But nevertheless, we had a small bait out there. I'll take a nurse like that. So it's probably a 200 pound creature, mm, maybe 150. But we got it back in the water quickly, safely. That's all that matters. Hook will rust out. We use non-stainless, non-offset hooks as recommended by the FWC. And yeah, nothing else to it. Those things eat a million hooks in their lives. So I'll tell you why she'll be fine. We got a good fight. We got a nice picture. She gets to live for another day unharmed. So let's yeah. go get another. Hopefully. I got a pass the bait out now. <laughs> well guys, we're back here sitting in our beach chairs after landing that shark. You know, I'm glad that we got it in. Got a photo, release it safely. But I'll be honest with you, uh, I think we can both agree that we probably would have taken any other shark that can swim in the ocean, any size, over a nurse shark. Uh, just, I think they're cooler. Nurse sharks are pretty boring. They have smaller mouths, they feed on crustaceans, and I want something with big jaws, you know? Even like a little black tip, you know, maybe we can harvest it. 
but that's how it goes. I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. It was decent size, but yeah. Anyways, guys, that's all for the video today. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time on JK Fish.